Okay, we have a couple uh, things to do before we get to our final bit of lip syncing. And uh, one of them is adding in backgrounds. And I've uh, put in the description of this YouTube video a link to a resource file. It's just called resources.fla. And that's a uh, <coughs> CS4 style uh, document. So even if you're not using CS 5.5, you should still be able to open it up. Um, you can you can also easily do this using a Google image search, but I uh, thought you might like to have these resources available. So if you right click on the link provided, you can save it and then open it up. Whoa, in uh, in Flash. Okay. So you'll see in there that I've included a um, JPEG of a park and JPEG of a tree. Okay. So what you can do is uh, highlight those, right click and copy. And you'll see that I have, you know, I have my resources uh, FLA open. I also have the file we've been working with, the template. And all you have to do, go to your library, right click and paste. And now those resources are in your library. Okay. So that's all you do to uh, transfer documents from, or transfer, transfer resources from one flash document to another. Okay. So uh, let's uh, create a new layer up here in the timeline. Click here new layer and uh, we're going to drag it um, is actually appeared in the right spot for me. Um, I'm going to double click on there, title it backgrounds, <coughs> uh, just above the audio layer. Okay. And you see, I have my other layers locked down here. Okay. So I'm on my background layer and what I'm going to do is start with this uh, park JPEG and drag it on. And you'll see that it's, uh, it's pretty much too small. And so I need to resize it quite a bit. And uh, also I might note that I'm at 25% uh, zoom here on my uh, drop down. So I'm at 25% so I can kind of see the entire frame. And also if you want to click on the uh, outline wireframe the background you can see how big the background image is in comparison to the stage okay so that's how big it is right now and you can see that uh, the the bottom is just barely lining up with the bottom of the stage so ideally it would be a higher resolution image but I'm not too worried about it um, okay so now what we need to do is actually we're going to change this into a classic tween okay so i'm going up here right clicking on that keyframe and clicking uh, create classic tween and you'll see that this uh, sort of lavender uh, tween appears and now i'm going to mimic the keyframes of my motion tween or the two motion tweens i have set up right now uh, hold down command, right click, insert keyframe there. And um, here I'm going to resize this because the characters resize slightly. Okay. Uh, I'll play that. Just watch that for a second. Okay, it looks good. Um, I can hold down option and copy this keyframe underneath these keyframes. Here, the, the scene changes. It shifts to the close-up of the female character. I need a background change there also. So uh, just kind of mimicking the changes uh, on my uh, motion tween with uh, my backgrounds here. I'm going to insert a keyframe. And here I'm going to delete that. I'm going to grab my tree JPEG and drop that in. That's very close to the size of the actual stage. 
it's high resolution resolution image um, so I'm going to drop that in there and I'm going to copy that keyframe by holding down option all the way to where we have the next one and then I happen to know that I'm going to want it on the close-up of the male character also so I'm going to copy it there as well um, but now I need to hold down command right click insert a keyframe here um, and again I'm going to on that one grab my wider shot Oop. need to delete that one grab my wide shot enlarge it and again copy hold down option over to match up with the keyframes there and uh, then here I have this keyframe that uh, needs to match up with this keyframe over here so hold down option drag match that up and then at this point it starts zooming in I am. so the background needs to make some sort of motion there as well um, yeah, I forgot there's actually one last keyframe holding down option again over there. Um, and so I'm going to enlarge this just a bit. Let me take a look at that. Yeah, I am. Actually, uh, enlarge a little bit too much because we want kind of that sense of depth where the background isn't enlarging quite as much as the foreground object. Yeah, I am. Yeah, okay. Cool. Well, let's uh, do a preview now and take a look at the backgrounds. I'm not sick. I don't need help. I am who I say I am. 